Hi everyone. So you all know I like to do celebrity look once a week. Uh, this week I chose to do Nicki Minaj because I saw a request for uh, no specific look in particular, but this look was taken from the May 2011 uh, issue of Elle magazine. It was the music issue. This is the look she wore um, on page 305. It's just this sort of really pretty uh, neutral eye look with lots of intense black liner and lashes and then I popped on a signature pink lip and then she just has a flush of color on the cheek. So yeah, this is what I came up with. I really hope that uh, you like this look and want to try it out because I know it's a little softer, maybe even a little sweeter than some looks that we've seen her wear at uh, recent award shows. But uh, I really liked it and I felt that it was more signature, more glam version of uh, Mickey, Nicki Minaj. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Now she does have a lot of natural lightness underneath her eyebrow arch and her inner tear duct, so I just took a little bit of NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and I blended that out. I'm going to take a little bit of NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and French Fries and we're just going to go ahead and sort of dot that all over the eyelid. And we're just going to blend that out with our finger and we're just going to smudge a little bit into the crease for like a contour look with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I just started using these more on YouTube. I'm getting a lot of comments, questions if they don't work for you. Try putting an eyeshadow primer underneath because these don't really work as a base. And only apply a light amount of these. If they still don't work for you, then just take an another cream eyeshadow product if you can. If not, you can do your whole look just using shadows. I just think that it sticks a little bit better with cream. I'm going to take a little bit of Glamour Doll Eyes in Prankster. It's just a pretty taupey pigment. It's got like a little bit of golden shimmer to it. Um, the website says it's got like a red shimmer. I could kind of see that warmth and tonality to it. This is vegan. It's a good option aside from boyfriend sweater. I'm just going to go ahead and dust that all over the lid. And I updated my blog. I have a blog post review and swatches of all the Glamour Doll Eyes products that have either been sent to me or that I've purchased. So you can check that out if you want and I will link that particular blog post in the bottom bar. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette and she's got a little bit of a crease contour in her lid for this particular ad or look. So I'm going to take the, um, the warm kind of soft brown color and we're just going to go ahead and blend that out following the contour of whatever eye shape you have. And then just blend that out. take a little bit of this shimmery gold color right here and we're going to blend that out as well. I'm going to start that in the center of the lid. I'm going to take the dupe of Max Orb which is this slight peachy color right here. We're just going to dab into that and we're just going to blend that out all over the brow bone. Set the inner tear duct. And then you can go ahead and clean up any eyeshadow that's out here that you don't need. And I'm going to go in with Glamour Doll Eyes Angel Wings, which is kind of like Max Vanilla Pigment in my opinion, but it's got more of like a golden iridescence, um, unlike Mac Vanilla, which is more of a pink iridescence. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my blender brush, and we're just going to dab into that. And this color will be placed directly at the arch to get that same luminous glow that she has. And then a little into the inner tear duct and I'm just going to like lightly brush it up. 
she's wearing a lot of black liner and it's probably gel or a very matte liquid so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Inglot gel liner number 77 since it's matte um, thick doesn't move and is waterproof it's exactly what we want sometimes liquid liner can get a little crusty or creasing and since the line is so heavy with this look I don't want that to happen so we're just gonna start sketching from the inner tear duct because it's much thinner in the inner tear duct And you're just going to start drawing like a diagonal line up. If it helps, you can start mapping it out from like the outer part and you can connect the dots. And then from there, you can just color in all that space. They get very close to the lash lines, so there's no skin. Depending on just the natural fold of your eye, it's going to obviously change the curvature of the line. When the eyelids close, it's obviously just going to look like the picture. Her eyelids aren't very far open, so I'm not sure how that wing would appear if her eyes were all the way open. But you're definitely going to want to set that with matte black eyeshadow. I'm going to take a little bit of fascinating eye coal and I'm just going to roll that onto the waterline. I'm going to take a little bit of Coast to Riche. I'm just going to lightly kind of dab that on. I just need just a little bit as a base. I'm going to feather in a little bit of um, the wedge dupe right on top of it. And then for the outer corner of the uh, lash line, lower lash line right here, I'm just going to take that same angle brush I used to set all the liner. We're going to dip into that dark chocolate color right here. And we're just going to add a little bit to the outer lower bit, sort of join it up with the wing. Now these come in packs of two. I haven't seen them come in bigger sets just yet. They finally seem to have taken away the red dental floss. Uh, thank God, but um, these are really nice anyways. I'm going to take the number fives, just one pair, and we're going to put those on. I'm going to take a little bit of Max Cream Blend Blush in Joie de Vivre. This came out with MAC in Lilyland. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit on. I've already contoured my face with a cream bronzer. It's the MAC Weekend Cream Bronzer. I'm still not out of it. I actually expected to be out of it by now, but... Because I, I took a little hiatus from it, I'm not quite yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on a little bit of that. You can just set your little your little face. <laughs> set your face with face powder, and then that's it so far. So just finished with the Inglot Weissen face powder, which I love because it just makes your face look really perfect and silky. I'm going to take the uh, Ancestry eyeshadow. This is from the Superheroes collection. This was meant to be um, kind of inspired by Storm from X-Men. It's supposed to be a pretty close dupe of NARS Albatross. It's a lot um, heavier, thicker, more pigmented than uh, Angel Wings. Angel Wings is definitely more like uh, Max Vanilla Pigment, which is kind of sheer, but all in all, both great highlight colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of that. We're just going to highlight the face. It's a great vegan option if you don't want to buy the NARS or you can't afford to buy the NARS Albatross. So I know that's a top selling shade anyways, so. And then once again, the swatches of that color. Um, and then like a little mini review and description and close up photo of um, the Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadows are on my blog, which I'll link in the bottom bar. Excuse my crazy dog. 
Now we're gonna do Nicki Minaj's signature pink lip. For that, I'm gonna take Urban Decay's 24-7 Lip Liner in Illegal, because it's a really soft, nudie color, so it's really not going to deter from the end result. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips, and then color them in, so that the lipstick stays on longer. Now I never bought Pink Friday, but I do own Viva Glam Gaga, which this is more of the luster version of Pink Friday. So we're just going to go ahead and put that on. Other options would clearly be Max Pink Novo. And just taking a MAC chromographic pencil, just a nude lip liner or a liner. Actually not really recommended for lips, I'm not positive why, but it's just used as concealer and color in the lips. Now I'm going to take a uh, MAC Viva Glam Gaga 1 lip glass. We're just going to color in the lips. This lip glass is a little bit more pigmented than the lipsticks. I know, it's not available, stop talking about it. It'll be available in December actually. Alright, so that completes the look, and um, uh, for Nicki Minaj's, um, he was the L music issue. Yeah, it's the L music issue for, I believe it is for September, uh, September 2011? Oh, I apologize. It's May 2011. I'm, re I'm using a really old issue. Anyways, it was the music issue, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial.